Welcome to Inside Out Boards with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you! Um, so we got the Suzuki wrapped up, we got the jet unit all filled full of oil, test run and delivered. Um, we got the old bug infested motor all hooked back up and uh, ready for pickup. So now we got to move on to something else. And what I decided is I have a pair. I have a pair of cuties. Johnny Rudy's. Well, sorta. Of. I've got some cuties. You want to see them? There's two of them. Okay, what I decided to do is I'm just going to take the little short shaft and uh, I put it in the tank. I'm just going to see what it'll do. Um, I don't know the owner, the previous owner didn't really know the history, but I'm just going to see what it'll do, see if it'll start or if it leaks or anything. He said it had been sitting in a back of a warehouse for a while. So, there's the choke. Let's say do it about like that. Let's see what we get. Right, make sure. See that water draining out of that lower unit? Where's it at? There. See that water draining out? You need to make sure you see that on these 1599 OMCs. There should be about a good half, three quarter cup water come out of that. If you don't, get some compressed air, piece of wire, start digging in that hole until you get that water to come out. 
because if you don't you'll get the dreaded northern crack that front chamber has water in it right through here there's a chamber through here and that water needs to drain out every time you take it in and out of the water and if it don't that water is going to stay in there and then if it freezes and this is outside it'll crack this in here so make sure that comes out now, I'll be right back okay let's get the Johnson in the tank saying that it's having overheat problems down by the water pump house. So. That's what he wrote. Gets hot by water pump. See if we can replicate that. Got her pumped up.
thermostat might be sticking, but it's coming down now. here. Yeah. He's got grommet problems in there. There's no way that should be that hot in that leg. So the only thing I... I'll drop the water pump. You see how strong it's peeing. So I'll drop the water pump, but I believe the power head's going to have to come off on this one. I believe he's got grommet issues up under the power head. It ain't flowing completely up through there, around and down like it should. I'll be right back. Okay. So, I called the owner of this little Johnson. Um, I do believe the grommets up under the power head have issues. That's why it's not cooling properly. The water pump appears to be pumping good, but once the water gets up, it's not able to circulate through the power head properly, heating that leg up and everything, and heating the power head up. Uh, because what little bit of water is getting through to the outlet uh, grommet is probably mostly steam. So, and that's what's heating that, that lower leg up. So this engine's gonna have to um, pull the lower unit off, pull the power head off, check everything out, and it's either plugged uh, or those grommets are collapsed. That's what I believe is wrong with it. So I called the owner and he said he would have to check with the wife to make sure they get the funds and so forth. So can't really go forward on that one. So is what it is. You understand. So, um, hey, I was down messing around the marinas and harbors and such. I found a couple cool old boats. So I'm gonna go back down there and look at them. You wanna come with me? Let's go. Always thought this would be a good, it's a sailboat. If you got rid of that sail and put a decent outboard, a 30 horse or so down in that well, that'd be a nice go around the island camping boat. And I like the retro look. Pretty neat. Nice cabin. Take that over around the bays. Like I said, a 30 horse or so would probably push it good and be really stable. 
make a good camping boat. The outboard sits down there in a whale like that. Forgive the wind, it's really windy today. This is really kind of sad here. This boat was abandoned here quite some time ago. Um, yeah, really kind of sad. Yeah. It's got an old Yamaha on it. It's sitting here, rotting away. People have filled it full of garbage. Wonder if she'll turn over. Oh no. She's a froze. It'll probably unseize. It was a 48 Enduro. Good motors. Yeah, sad. That could be made a pretty old boat. And it used to have the decal on it. I know what it is. It's a bellboy. Somebody must have popped that off because it used to be on there. Oh, there it is. You can see it right there. Bellboy. Yeah, somebody tore that off. At least I don't think I missed it on the other side. Really sad. We made a pretty old boat. Sad, sad, sad. There's a shot of St. Herman's Harbor overlooking the town of Kodiak. A lot of boats are in port. Most of those are salmon saners. Just thought I'd give you a shot of the harbor in downtown Kodiak. That's Cannery Row up that way. The breakwater and the harbor and the town. There's the sea otter. Fur cookie. When the stellar sea lions come around. Can't hide the money. God bless warranties. <laughs> It's name, that tune. Searchlights on my trail. Tonight's the night, all systems fail. Searchlight on my trail. Tonight's the night, all systems fail. Name, debt, tune.
Well, I'm waiting on a call back from this gentleman to see if he wants me to tear into this pretty little Johnson and get its cooling issues worked out and so forth. So really can't go any further with that. So I'm gonna have to scratch it num 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 old head while I wait to find out where I'm gonna pull the power head. And I'll give him a couple few hours to get back with me and let me know. And if he don't, I'll switch that one out and bring another one in, because I got him. And uh, so, I guess that's gonna be a wrap. That's one more hack from Cody Yak. Now don't you forget to subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.